So yesterday I uploaded a video showcasing a method of you being able to basically kill any boss within seconds. Thing about this was it required no skill tree build at all. Today Gearbox dropped a hotfix which basically nerfed all items needed for this strat. Today we test to see if it's still possible to do. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also guys, every week I give away copies of Borderlands to one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. So the latest hotfix nerfed the Cutsman, nerfed the Firestorm Grenade which wasn't really important but I was using it. But they also nerfed the artifact which in reality made this possible the Elemental Projector Launchpad. They said this, it was reported that the legendary artifact, the Elemental Projector, had a bug resulting in a max value being displayed at 183% instead of the actual value of 113%. Therefore, we addressed the discrepancy and reduced the max value to 90. So in reality, guys, they've taken away 23% damage or a damage buff from this artifact. Now the method in which I posted yesterday was a fun one and you can see me doing it on screen now in the background. It required no skill tree setup at all, all it required was the Cutsman which also received a 25% damage nerf and this artifact as well as the Unforgiven. The Unforgiven is unchanged as for now, but the other two items required were heavily nerfed. Now I wanted to see if this was still possible to do and is it as easy now two major items for this strat have been nerfed. And while guys with my testing I will say it's still definitely possible but you have to get the timing down absolutely perfect. It is much much harder to do though than what it was before this patch and I can honestly people feel the nerfs applied. I ran this literally about 50 times and got it down about twice but hey I did start to get tired and I was getting a bit fed up. I did for the most part though kept getting his health down to about a quarter or less and I kept doing this for ages and it was kind of pissing me off. Now I will state that the video was for fun, nobody plays this game without a build, I just wanted to in fact prove it was still possible to do and it is guys, but it's just a little harder. But hey, slight adjustments to Zane's build who I did this on and this is a piece of cake for sure. Now how this works is as follows, the artifact now gives you a 90% damage buff to the elemental effect you are suffering from. So in my instance I was setting myself on fire, therefore for a few seconds I got a fire buff of 90% with any fire weapon I use. So being quick I set myself on fire either with my shotgun or my firestorm, then quickly switched to the newly nerfed by 25% fire cutsman. Unload its clip pointing at Grave Ward's chest is crit spot then quickly switch to my unforgiven which has a plus 432 critical hit damage bonus stat. This is simply called trick weapon swapping and has been around since Borderlands 2 I believe, so it's nothing new. The game just thinks the Cutsman's projectiles because I've switched to the Unforgiven before they've landed that it's the Unforgiven that's shooting them and it applies that massive 432 damage buff to them. Now like I said, this is still possible to do, 100%, with no skill build at all, but it is much much harder to do. But in saying that guys, I'm on Zane and the slightest of changes to his skill tree build allows him to do this every time flawlessly as you can see me doing it in the background now. So yeah this is still possible to do on Zane, the weakest character with a basic damage build and I was doing it for fun people not even trying. So even with the Cutsman which is perfect for this because of that slow projectile speed even with its nerf it still works amazingly and the projectile launch pad also works great too. Now the nerfs we have seen from the latest hotfix I mean I understand them but in reality there are other major parts of the game which do need fixing first. I mean there are many broken glitches which in my opinion should have been addressed first rather than them taking the fun out of the game by nerfing weapons everybody loves. But hey that is just my opinion. What do you think about all the recent changes people? Let me know down below in that comment section. So yes, this strat will still work, no skill tree build, killing any boss in seconds, but the point of it now takes you a longer time to get down, it's pretty pointless to do, you may as well go in with a build, which is obviously the thing to do, and with a couple of damage buff modifiers, it's really easy to do. So yes, the trick weapon swapping with the cutsman, with the projectile launch pad, still works perfectly. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.